Hey everyone, it's Liz Holloway at stampersplus.com and welcome to my video tutorial on how to make this cardigan. This is a cardigan sweater using the winter frost and I'll show you how to create the uh, corners on the top so it looks like her shoulders and also the, the buttons itself. So what you'll need is um, our circle framelits and basically what I've done here was I numbered them 1 through 10 so that you'll know what I'm talking about when I'm in, uh, referring it to the circle itself. So what you want to do is start off with a JK white whisper white cardstock and measure at uh, eight and a half by five and a half and score it at five and a half. Okay, and then your winter frost designer paper and you want to score. I mean, cut that at four and a quarter by five and a half. Put these aside. Take your big shot. And I'm going to use the circle framelit number three and circle framelit number, I believe, uh, number five actually. So I'm going to put that aside. Take your magnetic plate. Then what you're going to do is take your base card and your designer paper and line them up. And what I have also done in advance was mark my center point on the framelit. So I'm putting it right onto the card and cutting all three layers out and taking the marked ends, which is here and here, and I'm going to run it through my big shot. And what you want to also do is center it. Now if you're you can't if you're having problems centering it, what I recommend is putting a mark at the two and one eighth inch and that will be your center over your card. But in this case I am just going to eyeball this and run it through my big shot and cut it. So that gets your your collar. For the shoulders, you're going to now take it and all you want to do is slip the cardstock underneath the circle framelit. This is the number three and push it against it so that the uh, card is actually right against the edge and all you're going to do is you want to cut the corner. And once that's done, roll it back, repeat on the other end, and you just want to make sure that your cutting pad is right over the center point. You don't need to go any further. Roll it right back, and that's where the pressure is, right on the center of the big shot. So here's the shoulder pads, or the rounded shoulders. So what I'm also doing is I'm going to cut a strip um, for the cardigan and this is at half inch. This is at half inch by five and a half and you're going to move this right on center. So depending on which side, and I'm going to try doing it, making a on that side and just take your glue line it up to the center of that okay and then you still have this curve so what you're going to do is take your big shot again take your number three cutter, align your piece, just creating a half circle, okay, and basically you're going to cut off that white piece. Right off. Okay, so discard this. And then to make the collar, take a scrap and add your number five piece on. 
this is the creating a half um, half circle and then this is the number three and I've, again I've already marked my center point on the um, framelit and then with this one you just want to make sure that you want to cut using the two framelits this is the three this is the five and center it and then with the magnetic plate it makes it easier so what I'm doing is now rolling it through the collar for me. Okay, so here's the collar. And then I'm going to glue the collar on. your big shot again. And this time I'm taking this and I'm running it through the, the lattice embossing folder. cardigan sweater just like so okay and then with your base card you're going to attach it to your base card and just kind of using your glue you can use whatever adhesive um, medium that you want but I find that the glue is much better especially when you have embossed paper glue will stick it down a little bit more better and then attaching it onto my base card. Just like so. Then with the pockets. With the pockets. I've cut them down to one inch by one inch and taking my magnetic plate again and and my number three circle actually because it's a smaller one I'm taking my number one framelit and slipping the corner right in pull it through repeat on the other side Then you've got your rounded corners. And then take a piece of white remnant strip and just add glue on top. Piece that through on it. Just give it a little bit of uh, white to them. Trim this off. You can pretty much do any um, colors that you want as long as it looks it's coordinating. Take my big shot again and I'm going to run this through the lattice again. lined up so that it's nice and square. Put my top plate on and put that through. So there are the two. 
pockets and I'm raising this up with my dimensionals just one each and add it the pockets like so okay and then for the full button this is a half inch circle and I'm going to punch through three small circles creating the buttons going to line this all up and taking my paper piercer and the mat and I pierce through all three layers creating a buttonhole and you can take each one of them and then just re-pierce it again to make the buttons a little bit bigger then take your dimensionals again and add it to your project. So here is the other button. Again, pop it up with your dimensionals. You could put more buttons if you want. It's up to you, depending on how, what the look of the sweater that you want. So in this case, I'm going to add one more button just to make it even. There you have it. Very simple Christmas cardigan. And this is using the Winter Frost designer paper. And you've got two different look of the sweaters. So I hope you enjoy that and come again. Thanks for coming by.